Howdy folks, you Yusuf from TechDroids, and yes, you read the title right. This $500 Hackintosh behind me beats Apple's $3,000 Mac Pro. You don't believe me? Well, let's find out. Alright, so let's talk about the Hackintosh itself. This is my main rig that I built two years ago and it's an entry level to mid tier gaming PC and I have installed Hackintosh High Sierra on it because the hardware on it is very, very macOS friendly and everything works out of the box. So here are the specs. It has a Skylake Intercore i3 6098P at 3.6 GHz. It is a dual core hyperthreaded i3. So yeah, there are only two cores but it can simulate four cores. You have 16 gigabytes of DDR4 RAM from A data that is 2400 MHz. You have 128 gigabyte SSDs, a few hard drives, and an RX 460 2 gigabyte overclocked edition from MSI. So those were the specs, and those are very macOS friendly. So everything works out of the box. The you know RX 460, the CPU, the RAM, everything works. And here are the benchmarks. The Hackintosh scores above 4,600 in Geekbench 4 single core, above 9,000 in Geekbench 4 multi core. And when the single core scores are compared to the Mac Pro, the Hackintosh just you know defeats it, it crushes it. The multi core on the Mac Pro is better because it's a quad core CPU, so yeah, that is accepted. Talking about graphics performance, the Hackintosh scores 73,000 plus on Geekbench 4 in their you know OpenCL compute benchmark, and the Mac Pro's Dual Fire Pro D300 graphics cards score only 70,000, and those are two graphics cards with a lot of memory, so two gigabytes of GDDR5 memory each, and a single, you know, very moderate entry-level graphics card defeats it. And also in terms of Cinebench, the results are similar here. So the GPU performance is better on the Hackintosh. It gets about 88.95 FPS. And in terms of CPU, again, it was expected that the Mac Pro will do better because it has quad cores and it'll render things out. And it's a Xeon CPU. If you're comparing an i3 6098P to a you know, very high-end Xeon CPU. So this video is not made to hate on Apple or the Mac Pro. It's a good machine for its time. But Apple hasn't updated the Mac Pro in almost six years now. And the fact that the price hasn't gone down and they're selling the you know, machine at full price, they haven't updated it, it frustrates me. And the fact that a normal $500 PC can defeat their you know, near $4,000 Mac Pro is amazing. And Apple really needs to update it. And now talking about the software experience on this PC, it's amazing. Everything works from Siri to you know, App Store to iCloud. I made an Apple ID and signed in and everything works. iMessage doesn't and AirDrop doesn't, but that was expected. Like that's the point of getting a real Mac. But Final Cut Pro and the Adobe Suite run really well and I had no problems, you know, just editing 4K video on this machine and also 1080p 60fps footage, it can chew through it. So, you know, footage from my DSLR, editing experience was very smooth, Photoshop, day-to-day -day modern tasks were very good, so browsing, doing email and just, you know, normal tasks that don't require a lot of power, the Hackintosh just crushes it. And in terms of Wi-Fi and Bluetooth, I'm using a Wi-Fi, you know, USB dongle from TP-Link and a cheaper Bluetooth adapter from Amazon that I bought that supports Bluetooth 4.2. And yeah, Mac OS High Sierra works well with the things that I bought. And as for my keyboard and mouse, I'm using a normal Logitech wireless mouse and a, you know, Bluetooth keyboard. So now the conclusion of this video is that you can get a really good Hackintosh experience for around $500 or even better because these are older parts. There's eight generation CPUs out there. There are better graphics cards out there. So yeah, if you have Mac OS friendly hardware, you can have a really good Hackintosh experience for a very cheap price. And the other conclusion is that Apple really needs to update their Mac Pro or at least decrease the price to half, I guess, because the Mac Pro is selling for like $3,000, which is the same price that it launched at. And that's not fair, Apple. So do something about it. Thanks so much for watching this one, guys. If you enjoyed this one, go ahead and smash the like button. Also subscribe to the channel for more videos like this. And this is Yusuf Lath from TechDroids, and I'm signing out. Peace out. Yeah, yeah.